Good morning everybody, I'm Sheila here. I'm going to show you this morning um, how to assemble um, the earrings. Uh, in this kit there are some lovely amethyst chips which are a fairly generous size to be, to be honest. They really are easy to work with. And also I've got the, um, the, the new strand of Fusite and it really has a lovely sort of you can't actually see it from the camera here, but you, you can see some pink in it. So that's why it picks up the amethyst so well. So I just had to show you how to do this section here at the top, which is just make a bit more decorative section on the top of your um, gemstone. So here we go. Um, always sort out uh, your sizes first. Make sure that you've got, especially if you do, obviously if you're doing earrings, um, so that you've got roughly the same size. So what I did in the beginning, I just put um, a head pin through one of the gem, one of the um, gemstones, and then I've made a basic loop at the bottom, which you can see there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to do that section at the top where you bring the head pin round and it sits on top of the um, gemstone. Okay. So what you do, you're going to make a basic loop. and then take it round, make a smaller one because you want to take as much round the front as you can. So I'm going to bring that round a little bit more and then bring that round to the front of your gemstone so it sits on the top. Now this is a smaller, I'm running desperately short of head pins now but that is just how it comes over and it sits on the top. The one I've done before is a little bit bigger because I've, I've used the, the larger of the head pins, but I've run out now. So as you can see, that actually comes down further, but because this one was a shorter one, it hasn't actually come down as far, but it will do if, if I'd have made that hole a little bit smaller, actually, it would have sat on the top. But that's, that's the idea how to do it like that. You just need a longer head pin, which I did have in the beginning, but I've used them all now in the kit. So um, I had to use what I had left. So that's how you do that bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach, sorry about this, but it's white on white. Um, so I'm going to do now just a loop at the bottom. So I'm going to pop that through there. And then I'm just going to make a basic loop. There we go. So, and this, what I like about this is it allows, if you do it like this, it allows without showing too much at the top. Let me cut that little section off. I'm going to put the wrong one, which I have done many times, as I said. So there we've got, and then what I've done already, because it's quite fiddly when you're trying to do it on white, you can't see the white thread. So what I've done, I've added, let me just move those out of the way a little bit. I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's about 13 on there. So if I add another nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, and that should be. I mean, you, you can have them as long or as small as you want them to drop. But I think, especially with all this lovely weather we're having at the moment, it's lovely to have something dangling, isn't it? Below your ear, and if you've got long hair. So I'm then going to take all of these all of the thread through. I'm going to take them a few at a time so you can see then how the jump ring is ruched up if you like. That's a good word for it, isn't it? Ruched up. So I'm going to carry on doing that. Keep taking it through. You can actually feel them quite easily or rather the needle finds them. There we go. I'm just grab 
gradually take those through so it keeps slipping down. One, two, three, four. Up to a few then, four or five. Nearly there. Just a few more. And then what I did then, I sorted through my Sulowski box and or any of your pearls, anything really. That's just I put my hand on first. Um, and and I just added one of those at the bottom just to give it that. So we've now got pull those really tight so you've got them. Hold it with your there you go. So you get that. Get it sitting right at the top then. So then start to bring it back down again because you want to make sure that your thread is not going to um, is not going to come undone and pour all of your so take it back through your take it back cut that shorter a bit in a minute so take it back then through a few of the chips and then that just secures your thread then. Where are you? There you are. I think sometimes you might need a little help with your flat nose pliers. So the, if you want to take it down a little bit more, you can. So then I'll cut that off. So there you have. There you have your sort of dropped section there. And then what I did then. You've already got the jump ring on, so I've just done a basic loop on just one of these Swarovskis. You can use you can use anything you want, but this is just to show that you can actually, although you've got the drop there, you can add some more drop at the bottom. So it's another way of doing, making a plain earring look a bit more, not plain earring, but a simple earring look a little bit more uh, elegant for evening or wherever you're going, somewhere really nice in the daytime. So... Just now, finish that basic loop off. Just roll wrap it. I like to roll wrap the top of anything that's dropping because it just adds that more security. So you just snip that off now. And then you've got, there's your ones before, the ones I made earlier, the ones I made earlier. And that's all you've got to do now is pop on your earring finding and then you're done. And there you have a nice pair of earrings. Well, one at the moment because it just made one, but there's the pair. Okay, enjoy. Please take care as well. Bye-bye now. See you again soon.